I was going to say, with comprehensions, the most important thing is to read the passage. This isn't actually a comprehension, is it? But we're going to read it anyway. Because, because. My most memorable day at school was the day I broke the window. It was an accident. A spider was spinning his frosty web, web on the window frame one chilly February morning when I discovered that tapping the glass made it jump. Poor spider. I tapped the glass and watched him jump until he grew wise to my game and began stoically to ignore me. My tapping became knocking until knocking became punching, as in punching the spider in his little hairy face. I somehow managed to convince everyone that I tripped and fell into the window, breaking the glass in the process. I hadn't meant to break the window or punch the spider, but I thought it best that nobody knew the truth. Well, no, you do, don't you? So, question one. Frosty as... Oh, sorry, is an... Now, just let's find Frosty, just in case it's one of those words with different meanings. So, on to line two. And uh, a spider was spinning his frosty web. So it's describing his web. So that's an adjective, uh, which is C. Yes, an adjective is a describing word. So let's write in C there. Oh, gosh, that's quite bright, isn't it? Should we go for a more gentle pink next time? Number two. You would expect to find this piece of writing in a sermon. A sermon is something that the vicar or the priest um, gives a talk about and it's about anything sort of biblical. I expect Immons do the same thing. Um, so it's definitely not one of those. Someone's memoirs. Yes, they're remembering things. Let's just check the others first. A newsletter. Mm, not newsworthy. A postcard. No, it goes on a bit for a postcard, doesn't it? And an instruction manual. Certainly not. So the answer to that one is B. Now let's have a look at C. How would you describe the tone of the passage formal? Oh, that's a bit like, um, dear Mr and Mrs Jenkins, I should like to inform you. But it's not formal, is it? Tragic. <laughs> oh, it's me. No, it's not tragic. Conversational. Yeah, it's sort of telling us in conversational ways, like a conversation. Someone just chatting over the fence. I think it's that. We'll check the others just in case. Rude. I'm not giving you a demonstration of rude. And mournful. Oh, I punched the spider in the face. No, it's not mournful. So we're definitely going to go for three conversational. Now let's have a look. Another word for watched is, now let's find this. That's line three. Poor spider. Uh, I tapped the glass and watched him jump until he grew wise to my game. So read, read at least the clause. Um, matriculated. Oh, I was meant to look that up. I don't know. When you join a university, you matriculate, which means you kind of joined it. Um, alarm. <gasps> no. Alleviated. Oh, that means relieved. I rubbed in the cream and it alleviated the symptoms. Didn't entirely got, get rid of them, but it made it much better. Um, stalked. That means you sneaking up on someone, following what they're doing. Am observed. I saw, well, yeah, observed, watched. So um, I watched the birds on the bird table. I observed the birds on the bird table. So that's number or letter E. And then that takes us to the grand total of number five, discovered means. Just in case, where is it? Ooh, where is it? Ah, here we are, line three, right at the beginning. Uh, one uh, chilly February morning, when I discovered that tapping the glass made it jump. Discovered, I found or learned. I learned that tapping the glass, I found. Yeah, I reckon that's A. I'm going to write that down in case I have a confusal, but I'll just check the other things first. Lost or forgot, no. Went or took, no. Ancient or exciting, no. Dug up or looked, no. This is definitely A. How's that then? A bit quicker than those wretched um, fractions. See you soon.